Hey guys, it's Roberto and welcome back for one more video. This time I'm going to share with you my experience of hiking Pune de Jurej National Park. One, two, three, jump! I did this trail in March together with my cousin Hugo. Uh, it was his first through hike and my second one after the Rota Vicentina. Uh, we decided to go to the Pene de Jerez National Park because it's one of the most pristine places in Portugal. It's located in the north part of Portugal, close to the Spanish border. We were planning to hike whole park from west to east, but soon we realized this park is huge and we definitely couldn't make it all the way. So we started at Ponte de Barca, went all the way to Suajo, Lindoso, Campo do Jerez, uh, Jerez Town, and also we did the Minas dos Carris. If I have to define Jerez in one word, it will be water. There are so much water everywhere all the time. Rivers, dams, springs, waterfalls, you name it. Especially during the spring, this water has so much power. If you go there during the summer, you still see a lot of water, but in spring, oh my god, that power. Even sometimes in the middle of the trail, it's like a river itself. You can even drink um, water directly from these water springs um, without any filter or anything. Sometimes we put a couple of bleach drops just to be on the safe side. But when we were with locals, um, they know which springs they are good to drink and then you just drink directly from it. The first couple of days of hiking we got a lot of rain, especially from Suajo to Lindoso. But it was one of my favorite days because the scenery was just amazing. Um, with the local fields, uh, small villages and wonderful people. Between Lindoso and Campo do Jerez, um, that was a bit more challenging. We just had to cross a mountain and before that we went to the tourism center uh, just to check it out, the coming trail and the guy really encouraged us to do it and we should finish like in seven hours. Um, in reality it took us almost two full days to complete this trail and cross the mount. We haven't seen anyone on the way not a single person. We were up there in the mountain, it was getting dark and on the bottom, on the previous days, uh, when we were setting up camp, it was already cold and imagine if it was up there. We are at 1300 meters altitude and it's freezing cold here. Luckily my cousin Hugo, um, he found a house in the middle of the woods uh, we went there to check it out, we knocked. Wow. Nice spot, spend overnight. So, so we discussed it and decided to sleep inside the house, inside our tents. This way we'll be protected from the cold from outside and also inside protected from the insect and the small mouses that they were around. Um, we were feeling quite comfortable, made a fire and had dinner. And when we went to bed, um, however, we have one of our scariest nights of our through hike. Um, but that's all a new story and uh, probably I'll make a video about it in the future. Obrigado, casinha, por não nos fazer apanhar frio nem chuva. Thank you very much for the shelter. Very much appreciated. Let's go. The next day we woke up, continue our hiking. We got lost a couple of times because we were following the cans, the map and the GPS and sometimes it didn't feel right. 
but at the end we managed and finished the seven hours supposed trail after two days and not seeing anyone and we finished that day super exhausted and the next day we took the day off just to have a, a quick rest and for the last day we decided to go to the Minas dos Carris so you'll start this trail close to the border from Portugal and Spain you go along the river to the top where you get to the uh, mine ruins the, the most interesting point about this trail it's its location because it's in the center of the Jerez National Park and it's the only one zone in Portugal that is total protection zone it's definitely one of the most raw and pristine places in Portugal um, you'll see a lot of wildlife, birds, um, mountain goats and deers um, just be in mind that you need a permission to get to this total protection zone you have to send an email and get authorization from it otherwise you can get a fine and more important than that we need to preserve our nature we have finished the trail in the town of Jerez um, this hiking was a fantastic experience uh, with its pristine and raw landscapes um, although I felt it a very challenging one um, I did uh, in the previous months Rota Vicentina which was 230k and I did it on my own and I felt it quite um, easy and comfortable however on this one I was really happy that I have uh, Hugo with me um, especially if you don't have much um, experience on the mountain I would highly recommend you to have um, a trail partner some people warn us about how big is the park and we should have taken more of this in consideration and break it a little bit more um, although we never felt in danger we had food, shelter and orientation tools with us um, however there are lots of people get lost in the park so before you go out to the park please prepare yourself and don't take unnecessary risks Despite our plan to hike the whole park from west to east um, and then we decided just to hike um, a small portion of the park to be easier and more enjoyable um, and then we will come back in the future to finish the rest but actually there is a new route it's called the GR50 a Grand Route of Peneda Jurej National Park and it wasn't out when we were out there uh, we have seen a few um, signs on the way but on the website and in the tourism centers it wasn't officially completed um, now it's official it's done um, and I can't wait to go back there and to complete this grand route um, my actually version of the map uh, doesn't have the GR50 However, they are working on the new version and in a couple of weeks um, they'll, they'll come out with the new uh, predated map. Um, for sure, by the time you see this video, this map is already out and ready to enjoy. Um, this map really helps us to, to enjoy the trail. It's based on the military army map and it's quite detailed and it has a lot of Asian uh, routes that we don't find online so I was quite happy with this one the gear that I use on this trail it was the same one as the Rota Vicentina I made a new video all about it and you can check it out and the only difference that I would recommend you is to get the warmer sleeping bag and take a couple of layers of warmer clothes um, although was absolutely fine the item that I really enjoyed on this hiking was the buff um, it helped us during the night and also on the top of the mountains when it was um, strong cold wind it really made a difference and preventing us of getting sick also I'd like to mention and remind you about the leave no trace principles uh, please check them out before you go out there um, our action is extremely important to protect these natural places on the way back from the trail we found a plastic bag There's the and bag. fill it up with all the rubbish 
so much rubbish in there. I'm planning to do one more long distance uh, hike in Portugal. I'm not sure which one um, that I will do, but I'm open to suggestions. If you have any uh, favorite uh, Grand Route in Portugal, please um, comment down below and I'll, ch I'll check it out. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find these tips and experiences helpful, please leave a like down below. I hope they will help you out on the trail and not doing the same mistakes that I did. Um, if you are interested in more videos about hiking, please check out the previous videos about the Rota Vicentina. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please consider to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.